In this video, we're going to be looking at the signal tags noise modifier and the changes that have been added in the new update. The first thing you're going to notice is that we now have a noise type. Now, when it's set to none, we're going to you're going to see the same noise that you're used to from the original version of signal. This is just a basic noise that modifies the input of your signal tag. And here you can see we've got our buttons that are moving up and down. They've each got a different seed. I, here you can see I've got all the tags selected. They've each got a different seed, and therefore they all kind of look like they're moving randomly and different than each other. One of the cool new features is that we've got all of the noise types that are available that are familiar from the Cinema 4D shader system. Um, you can see we have all the familiar names. So let's try mod noise. So now you can see mod noise is uh, has a lot of contrast. You can see these kind of truncated movements. And then we'll just try regular noise here. Another thing added was this bias contrast parameter, which as you in increase it, you're going to get more contrast in the noise. Therefore, the movement is going to be more extreme. And that's the noise types that have been added to signal.